Hi, you've probably heard of meme review, but have you heard about me review? Yeah. Well, anyway, recently I remembered about this short story I wrote like six years ago or even more and I thought, you know what, I really feel like reading it and then I found it on my email, I started reading it and half of it was missing. It was just not in the document. So I thought, you know what, I really need to find the ending because I'm actually quite into it now. <laughs> and uh, I thought the only place where it can be is on a particular hard drive that my family owns. And I did find that hard drive. And on it was not only the short story with the ending, but it was also, there was a lot of stuff. There was a lot of um, questionable content that I decided to share with you all because, because my videos are doing poorly lately anyway so wait did i start recording yet so who cares um <laughs> this is actually like a backup of my old computer that is dead and gone i threw it away and it's mostly i think like 2012 to 2014 a lot of this stuff is actually 2012 from what i can tell and let's just jump into it let's see what's there so starting out with um a folder that is called funny stuff and we have a couple of tumblr images uh, but then, for example, we have... Oh my god! Ew! Oh no! No! I thought it's a picture, but it's, a, it's actually gifts. But this one is funny because there is... Our cat is so tiny. Oh, look at this baby. He was so small. Anyway, I have no idea what the hell is going on. So, as you can see, there was a lot of webcam con... Oh my god, stop winking! That's disgusting. Oh! Mm. So as you can see, there was a lot of webcam stuff going on. I, like we discovered my laptop has a webcam and it did have a lot of options like filters and stuff. So we did play with that a lot. Unfortunately for me, I saved some of it for unknown reason. This is a webcam picture, of course, of me with uh, our kitty who was pretty small at the time, I think it was a couple of months since it's 2012. I also don't remember my hair looking that good, so it was either a very good hair day or one of those rare months where it actually looked okay. Uh, then we have a face swap of Ron and Hermione that was um, my cover picture on Facebook. Oh, uh, here is me in my neighborhood. I didn't know we had a bus stop there. That's strange. Uh, this was pretty much my style back then, which was non-existent. It was a Primark bag, a pair of red ballerinas, and a cream dress that was totally not fitting me well. Like the waist was literally 10 centimeters too high, but you know, it was before I knew you could alter clothing or make your own. So all of the stuff is not necessarily the best. <laughs> this was like my classy phase. You know, everyone is going through a classy phase every once in a while. This was that, you know, Audrey Hepburn, pearls, ballerinas. This was by the way, right after my high school. I think that was in Poland, you end high school around May. So then you have a super long uh, holidays until your university starts in October. So we all had sort of like holidays of our lives, mostly because they were the longest not because that was fun <laughs> and we basically weren't doing anything a lot of people worked i for some unbeknownst to me reason didn't i i think that was because i had like five different trips planned with my parents for that time so i was just chilling taking webcam photos and taking care of my newly acquired cat here is a gif of me and my friend which again i have no idea what exactly is what is Oh, um, so anyway, oh, bruh, this is my uh, Victorian style hairstyle, if I recall correctly. Why did I decide to take a picture of it is beside me, but apparently I thought it was good enough to share. The painting in the background, though, I love this painting. It, it belonged to the people that rented the, our flat for us, so it wasn't actually our painting, and when we finally bought the flat from them, they unfortunately asked for the painting back. That's pretty much one of the only pictures of the painting I have. It was so cool. Oh, mm. <laughs> so I think right when I started university, I thought, you know what, let's just make movies, baby. 
What we did with my friend is I wrote a script and then we bought some props and I asked my other friend if we can shoot at her place because it was pretty cool. Then I was like, okay, we need a costume though. And that was before I knew you can make them yourself. So I basically went to a theater rental and this beautiful gown that looks like an 1870s bodice and then a bottom is worn on a crinoline because why not? So basically this dress was uh, rented from a theater rental and this is what I looked like in it and it's just, it's well I remember being really excited about it because that was the first time I got to try a crinoline and you know wearing historical dresses before you actually get to make them is like oh I'm wearing something cool and old and you don't have a filter to know whether it's disgusting or not so I definitely did not have that filter. This is um, another webcam picture of me and my sister. R.I.P. her hair by the way. <laughs> this is so cute. So this is um, a photo I took of our cat back when he was like a month or so. So this is a meme I made of my cat because I thought he kind of looks like Barack Obama. I still think it's a funny picture like what the hell is he doing but this meme, meme format needs to go. Here is um, a lot of other webcam adventures. Well what can I say? Who hasn't done that? You know, that was pre-Snapchat filters. That was pre-Snapchat. That was back when Instagram was like photos of your feet with heavy filters. There is just a lot of like prancing going on in those photos. And, you know, everyone is going through a phase sometimes where they try to find their confidence and, you know, find out which uh, profile looks good, etc. But like, there was a lot of that going on and I am not proud of that. Oh, he's such a baby, look at him. He was so small. You can already see my elegant face sort of fading out and instead it was just black jeans, this damn sweater until like 2015 and uh, some loose shirts. <laughs> Oh, he was so small. <laughs> I'm so sorry you have to see this. Oh my god, why? Also, face swaps were a thing apparently that I was interested in. This hairstyle was sort of what I did. Like, I always had a side part because otherwise my hair would wouldn't stay behind my ears for some reason. I don't know, it's complicated. And then I would sort of twist it on the side of my head. It's actually this side. And this I did until like 2015 because I had no idea what else to do. My hair was problematic, okay? It was problematic. Oh my god. Wow, I... This was the underwear that I got for the dress. Like the theater rental dress. Let's just leave it at that. You know what? Never mind. Oh my god, I didn't know it was that long ago. So I think during the longest holidays etc. We went to Hungary and my sister and I, we did like a whole damn photo shoot there because the light was nice. So here you get a rare view at me makeup less at the age of 18. I remember the hair was going crazy there because what am I doing? What am I doing here? Anyway, the hair was going crazy because it was some kind of like thermal water style thing. I just left the thermal pool without washing my hair or anything. So it was like super curly and strained. So we thought it's a nice idea to take photos of, uh, of ourselves with those hair. Wow, such romantic photos of me at the edge of a swamp full of mosquitoes. My hair was actually nice. Like it was just cut the right way. I don't know what they did, but they made it look good. It, if you pay attention to the next couple of things I show you, they did not look that good afterwards. <laughs> what am I? What am I trying to do here? Like, what's the what's the idea? Then we had a whole photo shoot in a field <laughs> because we thought the night the light was nice. And I mean, it was nice, but like, what the hell am I wearing? What am I trying to do here? Like. It's not doing anything. And also, again, so much like prancing and trying to look romantic. And there was just, no, honey, you don't have to try that hard. <laughs> like I had, I think that was right at my modeling phase. So if you don't know that during the longest holiday of my life, I was really bored. My friends were busy. I had nothing to do. So I signed up to this like 
amateur modeling website where you just posted your pictures and you contacted people for photos. And I did that for like a couple of months at least. I was just like meeting random strangers and letting them take pictures of me. Unfortunately, like I quite enjoyed looking good in pictures. Like it's, it's just so strange because it was definitely something narcissistic about it. But I guess I like being good at things and people were telling me like, oh, that's such a nice pose, etc. So I thought, you know, if, it, if that's something I'm good at, and people are telling me I look nice. Why the hell not? That being said, it led to me being like, mm, mm, mm. you know what I mean? Like, I can't look at these pictures because I can see myself going like, I look so good. And it's just not something I, I am anymore. Like, look at this picture and tell me, tell me I'm wrong. I look like that one Ghibli character. Like, what am I trying to do here? It's not working. It's... What the... <laughs> Hmm, no. So speaking of which, here is a folder called modeling and um, it just brings a lot of memories, but also like what the hell was I thinking? For some unknown reason, I was confident enough to like meet with people and actually pose and not feel uncomfortable and like prancing around. I don't know how I did that. But I did that and I think it was really nice because a lot of those people like the photographers or like makeup artists etc they were really nice like I think it um, helped me in trying to figure out how to talk to people because like before I wasn't good at that but at the same time like I think I think I thought I was much hotter than I actually was and it shows on these pictures like I don't even know what to say like who was she I think it was kind of like a confidence boost like you know you get dressed up nicely and you get your makeup done and hair no hair usually wasn't done to be honest then you get nice pictures taken and you can post them to Facebook though I never did like like, like I literally never did though so I don't know what I had them taken for but but i'm thinking like maybe it was about validation like you know how we used to change our facebook profile pictures like every three days to get likes and like see who commented on them and like now i don't think anyone cares because we're like you know it is what it is i have a good idea of what i look like you know i don't need people to tell me that <laughs> it was fun though i still enjoy it from time to time so here is a folder called my video it features a recording of me back in high school at a history lesson Lesson, miming and pretending I'm hosting a TV program, I think. Hello. I don't know what that is. It's just a folder called OB for I why i don't know and here is me with a hot dog i think that was in brighton in 2012 so enjoy he looks super pervy though like what is wrong with his face i still think that after all these years it's wrong it's you know kids were looking at that what is he doing anyway um here is me in brighton leaning on a pole um here is um me and the cat what was it with pouting like why am i why do i keep going i think to be honest though some of it must have been the remain of me wearing braces because i remember when i was wearing braces my lips were like super full like in a wrong way they look like why do i have a picture of the weasley twins in my downloaded folder i don't know <gasps> okay here's an ad that my parents made for their company and Anyway, it's irrelevant, just have a look. Oh my god. My boobs are showing way too much for my age, girl. Anyway, I remember being super proud of this because that was like my first acting role. Not that my parents hired me or anything. <gasps> okay, here is a silent movie that I shot. <laughs> when you start film studies, you usually go from like the earliest stuff. So we did silent movies for quite a long time and this is what I came up with when I was bored and home alone. I just remember that one of the stills from this short film was my Facebook profile picture. Why? What is this? Oh, that's Buster Keaton smiling, okay. Uh, someone had an obsession. <coughs> Some more webcam images. I think the one of those pictures was a first one I uploaded to my Instagram once it was finally available on my frosty ass phone. Here's me <laughs> being obsessed with paraphylites to the point where I tried to recreate paraphylite paintings. Like, I get it, it's cool, but why did I stop <laughs> like curling my hair? halfway through. I remember I was lazy, I didn't feel like doing it, but like the straight ends are really killing me in this shoot. This is just regular stuff from my friend, like we always end up doing those artsy type 
photo shoots. We <laughs> That's a beautiful one. We always do stuff involving like random fabrics and fake flowers and we try to make it artistic so that's what we did and actually i love these pictures because the sun and the sky is just such a good contrast i think we rocked it and i think we took one where there's both of us uh, using a tripod and i think it's pretty cool as well but yes i am wearing a bed sheet so here is something that's called like a portfolio and i think Think. I was thinking of like applying to a Polish film school or something. So these are like my artsy photos, like actual art. Here's a photo of my sister as a servant. <laughs> it was for a film that we shot though. Here's another picture of my sis with a cat. And here's another picture of my sis. I actually like this one. I think these are pretty cool. Like this is so cool. Why is she talking though? I don't know. This is a photo. It's actually so strange because I would never do it now. But I remember walking up to a guy in a park and going like, can I take a picture of you? And he was like, yeah, sure. And I, I took it. And it's so strange because like I would never do it nowadays because I would be like, okay, what if he doesn't agree? What if it's cringy? What if it's not a good picture? Like I just took it. This is not a bad picture actually. Oh my God, why was I taking pictures of strangers? That is so crazy. Like I can never imagine doing it now. Some of these are legit not fantastic. I don't know what I was thinking. So here is um, a folder of photos from our university's party. That was 2013. So that was pretty early on, like half a year after we started the course. Here is me. I told you I would be wearing this sweater till the end of time. Like I literally stay still have it. I was still wearing it, I think in 2016. So that gives you an idea of like how long the things last with me. So we were playing charades. The photos taken during that game though are questionable, but you can get a good sense of my style back then. I think that's my mom's blouse, by the way. Anyway, that was still back when my hair was not as terrible as I remember. So what happened after? That's us okay. at the mountains, but like what is happening here? <laughs> Why am I in my bed? I think I'm, I think I had period cramps. Why is there a video of me having period cramps in a mountain cottage? I don't... Oh, I think here's a video of my cat going out for the first time. He was so skinny. Anyway, that's, that was supposed to be like a me review, not a cat review, right? So here is the me. I think that was my 20th birthday and I decided to put my face into cake while in an Edwardian outfit. I actually do not question this one. I would do it again. Like maybe not now, but if I was 20 again, I would do it again. You have to put your face in cake once in your lifetime. Remember the ALS ice bucket challenge? So I decided to do it in an 1860s outfit. And as cringy as it seems now, I really want to see it. Mm, it's still cringy though. Oh my god. It looks like this is my first attempt. Oh, at 18th century hair and boy, is it not working? Like what is it's just um, not not good mm -mm, at all. Okay, so here is a video I've been dying to see. So it's basically a five minute video of me and my sister pretending we're like a TV show telling people how to pick a perfect bench. And it's unfortunately in Polish, but I will add subtitles just so we can admire it in full glory. Witamy Państwa w programie Jak wybrać idealną ławkę. Znajdujemy się w miejscu obleganym przez gwiazdy. Na przeciwko mnie Brad Pitt z wózkiem dziecięcym. Proszę Państwa, teraz pora, aby przejść do wybierania idealnej ławki. Moja asystentka jest niezdrowa, niestety musimy zaczekać chwileczkę. Proszę, proszę zobaczyć, wyblakła. Proszę Państwa, dlaczego, dlaczego ławka jest wyblakła? No dlatego, że dużo pośladków ją muskało, prawda? Dużo to... Wydawało mi się, że jest mniej wygodna, prawda? A tu się okazuje, kurczę, że... Czyli tak, podsumowując, what year is that? That was like 2013, okay. I had a really big face of like pretending I'm a reporter. Witam Państwa serdecznie na kolejnym zlocie wędkarzy. It was, uh, it was definitely a mood. Here is me at a Florence and the Machine concert and I managed to get in the front because I was so early and then as soon as it started, a bunch of people just like pushed me away and I was like five meters away. I was like, really? So here is a video I made with my friend and it's really 
like crusty. <laughs> the quality is awful. But I remember that that was also the reason why I never posted it anywhere because the quality was so awful. But also it really pisses me off when people are like, you know, you don't need expensive equipment to film stuff. You know, films are made on iPhones these days. And I'm like, really? Like you can't, you literally can't see what's going on because the quality is so bad. Like four pixels are not enough. Buy me a camera and then we'll talk. Cause the one I had was awful. Like a lot of these shots will actually be really nice except they're in like 340p and it was too dark for the camera to pick up anything. So no, you it does matter what you shoot things on. Like as much as I love some of these shots, like I think the mirror ones and the horse ones are really good. They're also like, they wouldn't get into any festival back then because it was so bad. Like the, it's just the quality. And physically the camera couldn't take anything better at that point, so. But I think it's pretty cool though. And then we have the most nostalgic video I've ever seen, which is during the longest holidays of my life. I completely forgot about it, but I used to carry my camera around me at all times and just shoot like people and things and I never finished it for some unknown reason again. Oh, I remember because later on we went to England and all of that footage was gone because there was some kind of error. So I just got really discouraged, but it's the nostalgia is unbelievable. Like if you're feeling nostalgic for 2012, it will crush you. favorite thing about it is a the shot of my friends and b the fact that i'm still friends with all of the people that are in the video and that's one of the greatest achievements <laughs> of my life so far like i st i'm still in touch with them it's just so it shows you like i thought i was starting to be a grown-up back then but the older you get the more you think like 18 years old is nothing it's literally like you're still a kid and it's so strange because like back then you think you know i could be legally working right now and married with kids but at the same time like the mindset of an 18 year old like no offense but it's it feels so it feels so different from what i'm thinking right now and it also feels like nothing has changed i don't know it's so strange like there are some things there are so many things that i don't understand why i did or why i did the way i did them but at the same time I would probably do a lot of them the same way again. <laughs> so it's difficult to describe. Anyway, I think that's all that I found on my hard drive. Thanks for going on this nostalgic 2012 journey with me. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, see you next time.